Boland, he had caught the, he'd caught the ball. That was his third catch on the ball. He fouled it and, you know, Joey Boland hit him for good measure as well. So free out. Now, more pressure here on Limerick's defence. Paul Ryan got half a hand to it, but Nicky Quaid, who has been a lot busier than he expected to be, leaves his line. Lost possession, but he's won a free. And I think uh, Ryan O'Dwyer felt there was very little wrong with that tackle. Yeah, but you see Limerick defence is under pressure here all the time. You know, Paul Ryan could have caught that one, and I certainly didn't see too much wrong here as Ryan O'Dwyer comes on and he flicks the ball out, and Nicky Quaid is very, very lucky to get a free out for that. And well, Don O'Grady is making a change, Nicky. He's taking out Brian Geary and uh, bringing in Stephen Welsh from Glenrow, and uh, very early to be taking out your centre-back. Yeah, certainly, but I mean, Brian Geary has been under a huge pressure there. Seamus Hickey is coming out centre-back now, and... Uh, Tom Condon is going full back on Rhino Dwyer and that's been the, the Limerick's problem really has been around that area where Alan McCrabb has been dominating and you know Brian Geary he's, he's, he's short of pace and he's been exposed there in the first 20 minutes so Don Logrady tries to shake things up in his defence they really have been under the cosh for most of this first half and three goals from Ryan O'Dwyer have seen Dublin convert that pressure into hard currency. And even at this early stage, it's a long way back for Limerick. Yeah, certainly. And, and in the championship to date and in the league, Limerick were the team scoring the goals. They have only created one chance, which Gary Maguire saved well. Whereas at the other side, their, their defence has been absolutely porous in the first 25 minutes. And, and Dublin have three and maybe could have possibly have four and maybe five goals scored. It's a long ways back, nine points. They're going, to, they're going to need to score goals in the second half. And, and I think to do so, they're going to have to become more direct. This is an important free for Declan Hannan because maybe I put the course on him saying he was reliable with frees. Limerick had a problem the last day. And, uh, you know, the linesman is moving it, making it more difficult for him, closer to the, to the area where he missed the first free. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a slippy ball and this isn't an easy free, particularly when you've missed one already. Well, the Dublin backroom team just bringing the linesman's attention to the fact that uh, Declan Hannan wasn't taking that free from the right position. Good housekeeping by them, but Hannan, in any event, takes his point. Made his championship debut against uh, Wexford in the qualifiers. He's just scored four points, and he is almost single-handedly keeping Limerick in touch. Yeah, certainly seven points after 27 minutes is a poor return for Limerick and certainly not one that you're going to win a match with, particularly when Dublin have scored three goals. And three goals and three points from play. Great strong hand by Liam Rush again. He's excellent in the air and Gavin O'Mahony can't catch him. Here's McCrabb. Trying to hold off two Limerick defenders. Good pressure by Wayne McNamara and Paul Brown. McCrabb, McCrabb simply had nowhere to go. Yeah, I think he's a... He's a bit upset here. He thinks that Paul Brown is holding his hurley and possibly justify there. Again, lucky free for, for Limerick. See where Liam Rush is down. I didn't see what happened to him going, for, going through before when he passed off the ball or tried to pass it off to Alan McCrabb. Maybe he got hit after that, but he's, uh, he would certainly be a loss to Dublin because he's playing very, very well, but I think he'd be okay. Wearing number eight, but he started at uh, left half forward. Anthony Daly really did mix things up quite dramatically before the start. Kevin Downs now trying to knock this ball into space. Tight angle. And Kevin Downs has hit his first score of the match. Worth waiting for as well. Had to do it all on his own. And the margin is now back to seven points. Yeah, and I think that's what Limerick need to do. They need to be more direct. You know, a couple of balls they hit in early. Kevin Downs were hit to the sideline and he was to chase over there. You know, they're, they're going to need goals. Kevin Downs is capable of getting goals, but the most direct play, way to get him is to pump the ball into the edge of the square to him, and uh, he's a good player. Gary Maguire from Ballyboden St. Endes. His puck out finds only Wayne McNamara. Very well held. Let's it in towards Downs again. Instead, it finds Niall Moran holding off Corker. Moran bearing down on goal. He's been fouled, and that's a free in. Good, strong run by Moran who just stole in around the back, took on Corcoran. Yeah, now Corcoran, as you can see, was holding his hurley, not letting him get away. You can see he's, he's caught it with his right hand, and again he comes to foul him here and, and holds the hurley again. He wasn't going to let Niall Moran get inside him, but that was more direct from Limerick and, and better. So the hard work of Niall Moran leads to this chance for... Declan Hannan.
five points now for Limerick's free taker. And all the while they're eating into that gap. A little under five minutes left in this first half. Dublin are getting ready to make a change. David Tracy, it is, who's uh, getting ready to come in. But uh, he'll have to just wait a little bit longer. That breaking ball eventually picked up by James Ryan. Just uh, by the this time. Gets it back towards Gavin O'Mahony. Cluster of players uh, surrounding the ball carrier. And eventually, Don O'Grady finds some time and space to pick out Graham Mulcahy, a real speed merchant. The roar of the crowd ringing in his ears, shortens the grip. And fires it across the face of goal and wide. Limerick's third. It's a very bad boy for Graham Mulcahy, was a great, great chance, he was completely on his own and uh, he certainly had put much more time to steady himself and put that over the bar because Limerick have been creeping back into it, they're back to six points and a couple of more points before half time now and, and they'll, be, they'll get back very, very competitive. See Conor McCormack has been replaced by David Tracy and David reports have been that David Tracy is over his hamstring injury and has been doing very, very well in training. So despite the fact that uh, Dublin are six points in front. Anthony Daly not uh, allowing his forward line to rest on their laurels. Conor McCormack hauled off three minutes before half time. Paul Brown here fouled again. Paul Brown, early in the game, he did very well. He's been quiet, and Limerick in midfield have been quiet. Don Logrady, after that first very good point, hasn't really been in the game. So, And that's part of the area where they've been in trouble. Morris O'Brien and, and Johnny McCaffrey have been winning there, and Liam Rush and McCrabb have been doing very, very well in the half forward line. Don Grady will be a little happier with how the last uh, seven or eight minutes have panned out. Limerick have hit the last three scores of the match just to keep them in touch. Obviously, they don't have Brian Geary now to hit this, these long-range frees. He was very, very accurate earlier on from these frees, so Don Grady has taken over that job. Declan Hannan is uh, handed the responsibility this time, just standing literally on the halfway line. And that last touch to Dublin, man, they'll get a 65, but... With Brian Geary Calling now sitting in the Stewart, dugout, Stuart, Stuart, Hannan will probably uh, have a cut at this as well. Line, please. Stuart, Stuart, he has been, position. You know, he's missed a couple of them. He hasn't, he hasn't been striking with, with a whole lot of conviction. In the stands and, uh, the you know, this, these are no chances for Limerick. Allowed. You know, the one from Graham Mulcahy and you know these frees from Hannan. They need to be converting these and you know get the get the gap down to maybe three or four points if they can before half time. And I think after Limerick go conceding three goals, they'd be happy with that kind of result at half time. Linesman just making sure that uh, Declan Hannan is in the correct position. Another vital free this. We're on the cusp of half time. This is a chance to reduce the margin to five points. He's given it plenty of height. It's bang on target. Half a dozen scores now for Declan Hannan. And as we tick uh, towards the half time break, Nicky, your thoughts on the first half? Well, I, th I think that, you know, Dublin have really dominated because of the three goals that they scored. And, uh, you know, they were nine points clear and looking very good. But Limerick have, have clawed their way back into it. They're down to, the gap is down to five points now. And, you know, Limerick have seized the initiative again. They're winning ball around the middle of the field since they made the, the change and, and moved Brian Geary. They certainly seem to have steadied down. And Seamus Hickey has steadied up at, at the half back line at centre back. So, you know, that if another point or two for Limerick or maybe if they, they could get a goal before half time and the whole thing is back in the melting pot but L Limerick would be happy with that I think Well Anthony Daly will know that uh, 10 minutes now have come and gone since Dublin's last score this is Limerick's spell in the ascendancy good play by the Dublin fullback Peter Kelly again dropping it down towards his half forward line possession won by David Tracy manages to pick out Liam Rush plenty of space between Rush and the goal. Ball flicked away by Gavin O'Mahony. Good defending. Paul Ryan. Quick hands to get it back as far as Dotsie O'Callaghan. Trying to jink away from the Limerick defender. Pops it into the space in front of Paul Ryan. This is Alan McCrabb. But well read by Tom Condon. Solid as a rock in that Limerick full back line. Out to Shawnee Tobin. 
Tobin just took a moment to gather his thoughts. Pops it inside towards Paul Brown. Quick look up. Everybody tightly Position marked inside. And out with that ball comes minutes. Paul Shute. Pace of this game. Quite relentless as we tick in towards the second minute of stoppage time. Limerick in search of something. Seamus Hickey, he's seen enough. Gone for a score from way out the country. Four wides for Limerick. That the gap remains at five points. Yeah, waste by Seamus Hickey there. You know, he needs to put the ball in front of Kevin Downs. They've, that's the guy that's, that's winning. It's capable of winning possession, capable of scoring goals. And, you know, that was a really Hail Mary shot from 100 yards. But I think both sides are, are overdoing the hand passing and overdoing the possession. Liam Rush had a good chance going through a minute ago to, to put it, get a point for Dublin, and, and that's what Dublin needed. And uh, he chose to pass as opposed to shoot. Shane Durkin going long and direct, looking for Ryan O'Dwyer, batted away by Tom Condon and picked up by Graham Mulcahy. One of only two Limerick players that lined out in the championship against Cork last summer. 13 new men picked by Don Grady today. David Tracy, nice first touch. Trying to go for his own score. Hooked by Don Grady and added to by Tom Condon. This is Alan McCrabb as Dublin tried their luck down along the right-hand side. Well taken by Paul Ryan. He got out in front of David Maloney. Left the ball behind, though. Maloney recovered really well. And the referee, Brian Gavin, calls for the ball. 37 minutes of frantic action. A first-half hat-trick for Ryan O'Dwyer has propelled Dublin out in front. But this All-Ireland quarter-final, far from over. Here at Semple Stadium at half time, it's Dublin who lead Limerick 3 6 to 10 points. But it will be Dublin to play from left to right in this second half, defending the Kalina end here at Semple Stadium and also defending a five point lead as the referee Brian Gavin from Offaly gets us underway. Also took charge of the Munster final between uh, Tipperary and Waterford. And so far he's uh, let the game flow and we've had a good entertaining tussle so far as Limerick the Division 2 league champions try to get back into this match at the moment it's the Division 1 title holders Dublin who hold the advantage